the book, Strength Through Loyalty, about the history of the club from Moorabbin onwards. What's your favourite memory from this ground? I suppose if I get run over by a truck tomorrow, I'll be remembered for naming the animal enclosure. I used to write a column for the club magazine and said we stand between the two uh, races, you know, and call it the animal enclosure because it's like a cage. And uh, once the Saints were on a roll, the grandstands really started to hum and it was fantastic. Your book also has a chapter on Indigenous players. Who was the first Indigenous player to come to the club? Uh, Jimmy Wandon was the first uh, back in uh, 19, early 1950s, 51 I think. We had uh, all the guys in the 90s, or, well, it was Robert Muir in the meantime, Phil Narkel uh, in the 80s, and uh, then in the 90s, I mean, St Kilda, uh, we hear about Essendon having so many Indigenous players, but they, they were sort of later than St Kilda. I mean, Saints had, uh, had Nicky, of course, uh, Gilbert McAdam, uh, uh, Dale Kickett, Russell Jeffrey, you know, these were guys who played a big part in this club. You also have a lovely memory of Gilly in one of the finals. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, the 1991 uh, final against Geelong was the first final for St Kilda in 18 years. And uh, that day, you know, we've been out of it for a long time. Gilly kicked the first goal that day on the uh, outer uh, flank at uh, Waverley. And uh, the roar that went up, it was just like 18 years of pent up energy. We were just waiting for someone to kick a goal in a, in a final for us. What's one word that describes the essence of St Kilda? One word, I suppose, resilience. I mean, it's been a pretty tough tough sort of uh, existence. We, we know about one premiership, 140 years, uh, but St Kilda keeps bouncing back, keeps fighting on, doesn't knuckle under.